guys, today is April 24th, 2020. Thank you for joining me. Um, it's just Lily and I today. We're more than six feet apart. Woohoo! And um, we're just going to have some fun today. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about um, some free things that are on the internet. I've got a little trunk show. We can do a little catch up. Um, and so I'm going to start with laundry basket quilts. So I don't think she timed it to be with quarantine. I think it just kind of happened at the same time. She started a stitch along or a sew along and she just called it Laundry Basket Quilts 2020 Mystery Quilt. And for 15 days, she did it once a day, she released a pattern. And so I didn't get to see the whole thing in advance or anything. I just followed along just like you guys did. I didn't get it in advance. And um, she gives instructions for six inch blocks and I thought, you know, I don't really need a quilt that big. So I did three inch blocks. And so I'm not gonna give instructions for the three inch just because first of all, it's not my pattern. And second of all, um, some of the math was like three ninths, which isn't on a ruler. And I did some funky stuff to make it work. Um, but here's my quilt. So it is 10, 10 blocks by 10 blocks. And I used her Anna collection and um, the, the collection that she used is Super Bloom, which is also an Aditta collection. And that is now, um, a lot of the SKUs are sold out. I won't be able to make more bundles until July, just due to fabric being out and shipping delays with everything. Um, and then my back, I started with the Fat Quarter Bundle. Ooh. Yay, and so I used all of my leftover pieces for my backing and I, put a sweet water label in the middle and it just says Kimberly Jolly Love and um, this is real fun and then this um, I had Mike the quilter quilt it and Deborah bind it for me and this um, pantograph is called Kimberly's feathers just because I really like the <laughs> the feathers and so he calls it the Kimberly's feathers I don't know what it's really called but this was a lot of fun because it tested it tested me and um, I'm kind of, I'm kind of at the point where I just want to do smaller projects. And um, Joss and I have been working on something for quite a while. And so um, I got so many questions for the three inch block that we are going to do something in the fall that incorporates a three inch block. Of course, we will have other sizes because most people aren't going to want to do a three inch block because most people are not nuts like me. But um, just to, you know, just because I did get those questions, I thought, you know, we'll make that an option. And obviously that would be for an experienced quilter. Um, but that was a lot of fun. And I loved seeing um, what everybody else was doing. A lot of people sewed along. Um, so Aditya just had really great timing with that. Um, I don't think she could have released something like that at a better time. Um, and the fact that it was once a day, I was concerned about that. But obviously since it hit um, when it did, people have time. So that's great. So let me know if anybody has questions. Again, the fr it's a free pattern on Laundry Basket Quilts blog and you can follow her and you can actually like sign up for updates where it'll email you each day. All right. We have a lot of people tuning in saying Yay! good morning. Good morning, everyone. I it's missed everybody. I hope everybody's okay, like physically, mentally. Yes. Um, it's a crazy time. I'll just... Um, crazy time yeah but yeah i'm really glad to be back this is great to have some sense of normalcy great to see yes. everyone um, we have people tuning in from barcelona france georgia australia florida nebraska um we have a new youtube member nelly thank welcome, you welcome nelly yeah it just really is hard for me to film at the stress of filming on my own without lily is just too much for my sanity and um we also just with school like well we don't have enough computers so it's like a constant like we have to like schedule the kids homework and their well not homework but their schoolwork and so it just became with filming it was just like i can't do all of the things at once so i just said we're gonna go back to normal for this friday because i can't take it anymore mm -hmm. um it just became too much um it's just i can't do all that yeah and yeah, and we're being totally safe. We are way more than six feet apart. Yes. Hand sanitizing our hands and all that good stuff. Yeah, we have sanitizer when we come in. You have to do it when you come in, when you go mm -hmm. out. 
um, we have like extra cleaning people. We're doing everything we can. Yes, it is great. Um, and let's see. Oh, a few people are asking about the star quilt behind you, and I promise we will get to that oh, yeah. in the video. Yes. Um, let's see. Patricia Stein on Facebook said, I made this quilt also from Aditya Sitar, but mine is a lot bigger. It was a good challenge for me. Yes, it was a lot of fun. Um, I'm happy with my fabric selections because I was stitching along it the same day, like the same day Aditya was. I was a little bit concerned because I do like to plan my colors in advance, but um, I kind of tried to follow what she did in terms of color value and scale, um, and it came out good. But I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Um, it's kind of, I'm kind of in that point in my life where I've got quilts everywhere. I've got nowhere else to put them. I just wanna make them for fun. I don't even, like, I don't know what to do with them. So I was like, the smaller, the better. Yeah. Okay, and we had another YouTube member who joined last week, Sheila Ham. So we're gonna be, give a big welcome to Sheila. Yay! Welcome. Okay, so another thing that I have been working on, put this right here, is Moda Blockheads. And so with Moda Blockheads, it's a program that Moda does, and you go to their blog every Wednesday. They're on Moda Blockheads three and they have free blocks they have different sizes um, different designers and so they have released 15 blocks so what i have chosen to do is make my blocks in either six inch or 12 inch and then finish them with the farm girl vintage 2 setting which is a lori holt design so i'm going to show you where i'm at um, these are six inch blocks put together and this is kind of part of the setting of Lori's setting so you're going to see that the sashing on the outside is part of the instructions in Lori's book so these are four of the blocks um what I have discovered this is yesterday's block I believe what I have discovered though is I have too many six inch and not enough 12 inch so Lori's quilt is assembled in rows. So this is my first row. So it starts at the bottom and I'm just kind of placing them as I go and sewing it as I go. Cause I think sometimes, you know, when you make a quilt and you get to the end, you're kind of just tired of it. You just want it to be done. So I thought that it would be a fun way to sew along. So these are my 15 blocks but I, I am very stuck because um, I have too many six inch blocks and I think I'm out of 12 inch blocks. So I can't really start the next row. And I am using Minnick and Simpson fabric and just a variety of backgrounds. I'm using some of Aditya's backgrounds because they have a cream to them. So this has been a lot of fun. So this one is totally free. So if you're at home and you wanna bust your stash, um, and it's, it's been fun. I've never done a red, white, and blue quilt before. And so you can see that this is, you know, a small quilt. I'm trying to do different things this year um, just to challenge myself. And this one has been a ton of fun because you get to pick the fabric each week. And I like that I'm able to assemble it as I go. So I've got one row done. 15 blocks have been released and um, if the block is too hard or maybe it's paper piecing and I don't feel like it, I'm just using blocks from Lori's books because she has six inch and 12 inch sizes. And um, I would encourage you to do the same thing because you can do whatever you wanna do, like um, use all your options. So um, I've been doing that. And another thing that's also free is Sherry McConnell's blog, A Quilting Life. She started, um, she does a free block of the month every year. So if you're looking for something, she has past years also. So if you're looking for something free online, check out her blog, it's very inspirational. She has lots of good tips, lots of good videos, lots of good photos. And so she's doing a free um, block, block of the month. And so I'm gonna show you the four blocks that I have done so far for this year. And I'm using Vintage Happy 2 Collection by Lori. And yes, I did fussy cut that iron. And it might have taken me a couple of times to get, to get that right. I don't remember. So she does these on at the very beginning of the month. So I've got January through April done. So 
so and I did fussy cut this one also and I'm doing the six inch size she's got 12 and I think 18 inches but again I'm trying to really challenge myself and make smaller quilts because I have nowhere to put them so that's also So that's also something free and um, great resources. I'm not sure how I'm gonna finish this. She does do a finishing at the very end. I haven't seen her finishing, so I don't know if I'll use it or not. Um, I was thinking that what would be really cool with this is to turn it into a table runner or two table runners instead of a quilt because these colors are very representative of my sewing studio and I have a little table that I switch out the um, table runner I mean yeah the table runner on I have two so I thought that it might it might end up as a table runner so let me know if you'll have any questions on that before I go on yes uh let's see Sue Cleek first of all was wondering is this live or pre-recorded it's live we are 100% live um and then Angela Stoudinger was asking if you could show the back again for a Ditz's quilt uh-huh as I put it on the floor. <laughs> yes, so what I did is I started with fat quarters. I started with the fat quarter bundle and I didn't want to have to buy any extra fabric. I didn't want to, um, and I, um, since I made small blocks, I had plenty and I just made sure when I was doing it that I kept a big chunk on each side. And obviously not all of the fabrics that I have enough of left over, but I had plenty. And you can see that I reused two of the fabrics. Like I had to reuse this fabric twice. You know, there's a couple of fabrics on the back that are used more than once. So. Awesome. Okay. Because that's also one thing that I'm trying to do is not have any leftovers. I don't want any leftovers. I want to use it all up. All right. Uh, Brian Mitchell is asking, can you still get a fabric bundle or fabric kit for the Laundry Basket 2020 mystery quilt along? So on that, she was using a fat quarter bundle of Super Bloom and that is now sold out. I didn't know in advance that she was doing this or I would have tried to buy more. There are a ton of shipping delays on our side and manufacturer sides. So we are not going to have more fabric to make those until around July 15th. The Anna bundle, I think that, I don't know if that is in stock or sold out. All right. Uh, let's see. A super nice comment from Super Zo Susie Q57. She says, "My name is Sue from Niagara Falls, Canada. So happy to see you both." Kimberly, did you work on your Harry Potter blocks? Oh my gosh, no, I haven't done that. Um, I will tell you what I have been working on. Uh, Bonnie and Camille have a new book coming out, and I made. I was honored and privileged to be able to make the cover quilt. So I made the cover quilt. That um, it is a sampler and we will be able to show it in the middle of May when Moda releases that uh, collection for preview. So um, I did that and we are working on a free um, series that will be in the fall. And um, I've been working on that. Um, so I have, and um, I've been working on um, some, like a lot of kid stuff, um, schooling becoming a teacher. So um, I have been quilting a ton. It's just stuff that I can't show you yet. And I haven't had a second to do Harry Potter, but I do need to finish that quilt. I need to, you know what I need to do? I need to just give it to somebody and say, please finish it. Like Gina tell, I need to just give her the fabric and say, I will pay you whatever. Just finish this dang quilt. He will never know. Um, That's great. Speaking of Gina, she says, uh, they look wonderful, Kimberly, about your Moda Blockheads blocks. Oh, thanks. And um, Cindy Ball was asking every Wednesday for how many Wednesdays? I believe about Sherry McConnell's blocks. Okay, so so laundry basket, I'm gonna go over all oh. three. Laundry basket quilts is everything is online now. It was for 15 days. Moda blockheads, it's every Wednesday until February 2021. I can't remember the number of blocks. It's somewhere between 55 and 62, somewhere around that. And then Sherry McConnell's is the very beginning of every month for 2020. And she has past block of the months in past years also. All right. And sorry, there's a lot of questions. I'm trying to organize them here. Uh, Brian Mitchell said, where do you get the fabric and patterns for the six inch, 12 inch blocks you made? So for the, um, for the Moda block heads, which is the red, white, and blue, I am using Minnick and Simpson fabric. So I'm using Mackinac Island 
and I am um, also using past Minikin Simpson collections and I've mixed in some sweet water so it's kind of um, just a mix of different things I didn't buy just like a specific thing and then I use two different skews um, I'm using two different backgrounds to border them and I've said the skews in previous videos. I don't have them with me today, but. Um. All right. Um, and let's see, Eileen Gabrovic said, your EPP with Tula Pink was one of the best tutorials. I learned so much. I'm 65, you can teach an old dog new tricks. Yay, she's, oh. oh, and then she did some really cool stuff this week. So if you guys wanna see Tula Pink Studio, she showed it on Facebook and um she's got a little hutch in her house and i'm like oh my gosh it's so pretty just her whole house yeah it's also on instagram if you're on instagram uh i've watched both her videos like a million times yeah i think on facebook it had it cut it up or something mm -hmm. so on facebook you have to watch it a couple like different ways than instagram exactly. i'm not on instagram so i don't know <laughs> all right Teresa says you two are doing a great job on the live show lily and kimberly thank, thank you Teresa. You. um and then Let's see, uh, Julie Washburn was asking, is that Bonnie and Camille book the one that is supposed to use blocks we made and sent in? Yes. That's the one. Uh, Home Mom says, is the Jolly Bar 2 book, in the Jolly Bar 2 book, are there some weekend type quilt patterns? So they're all easy and all beginner and we will have a sew along for that and we're gonna show the sew along and talk more about it next week. And we are gonna put all the details for that sew along on the blog. So if you wanna wait and do that, um, it's gonna be starting in about a month. And everything in there is very easy, very beginner. All right. Um, Peach said Gina tell us the cutest Harry Potter panto, let her do it. I know, I really, I mean, really, I really should just do that because it needs to get done. Um, and I just, I don't have the, I don't have the motivation to do it. Um, I know that sounds horrible, but. It's okay. Um, the Tattooed Quilter says, Flamingo Toes, everything looks so good. Love that pillow. Oh, I know, it's so cute. Yes, and thanks to Christopher, Tattooed Quilter. Yes. Okay, so I have a trunk show to show you. Bev McConnell, um, she, or McCola, I'm saying it wrong. She is a designer for uh, Riley Blake and she has the cutest stuff. So she's gonna be doing a sew along with this quilt right here on the side. And this is the cover, or this is the quilt. So Lily will zoom in and then she'll show you the quilt. I don't wanna take it off the ladder, but it is a row quilt and she's gonna be hosting a sew along. You obviously need the pattern. It starts April 27th. All the information is on her blog and um, you can um, click um, in the description box below to link to her blog. It is gonna be a fun row quilt and it's gonna be super fun. So, I just thought I would show you that. Um, it is using her brand new Singing in the Rain collection. We don't have kits, but we do have the fabric. And this goes along with her quilt. And this is a cross stitch piece and I love it. And I wanted to ask Bev if she's gonna do a cross stitch row along or if that's gonna be part of it to let me know because I might stitch along. When she stitched this, she used Aurifil and she used a 14 count white Ada. And she said on the frame, she doesn't remember um, where she got it. It's just a frame she had in her house. So um, she um, sells this. So this is a cross stitch pattern and the quilt pattern is separate. And it's super cute, I wanna make it. And then she also has gingham windows pattern, super cute. And these, um, it's the quilt. Uh, on that ladder. On the ladder. I'm like, where did it go? Yeah, so it's on the ladder. Sorry, guys. And it also uses her brand new collection for Riley Blake. Singing in the Rain. It's so pretty. Very, and that one is super beginner friendly. So a lot of times, one of the number one collection, sorry, number one questions we get is what is a beginner quilt? that is good and we always refer to our shortcut quilts, but this is a great beginner quilt. And the quilt behind me 
is called Vintage Stars. And in it, it does use a template and there are paper templates within the pattern. You can see they're kind of peeking out. And she made this pillow with it. So, um, and she put these little pom-poms on it. It's so cute. And you can get the pom-poms at Joann's. And then also I wanted to show you this. This is a cute pillow that has pom-poms and this is a free tutorial on her blog and her blog is called Flamingo Toes, and we link to it below. So if you want to have, um, and she used um, Arafil here, or Arafloss, and um, this Ooh. is all hand-stitched, and all that information is on her blog. Oh, that's so cool. I know, and then this is a blue one, a blue version. Ooh. It's cute, right? Yes. And then on the back, it's like a, it's an envelope back, but she folds it over and hems it down. Yeah, it's so cute. All the cute things. I know, it's so cute. And then I love the, the, the um, pom poms? Yeah, and like the color, how they pop mm -hmm. on this one. And then she was so nice, she sent me a bag. It's so oh. nice, thank you. I'm so excited, I'm gonna put some cross stitch in it. And this is a, um, this, she says this is a pattern by Lori Holt, right here. So this is um, a blog tutorial on Lori's site, it's so cute. Or actually, no, she says the pattern is a Dresden Quilty zipper bag. So I will have to make sure we have that in stock. It's so cute. And the, the zipper is gold. Yes. I believe the pattern is linked in her blog. Okay, sorry. Yeah, no, you're yeah. good. Um, it's a lot of information. <laughs> and Flamingo Toes is actually in our chat today. So I'm going to give a big old confetti cannon to Flamingo Toes for the trunk show. It is amazing. It's so cute. It's like perfect. It's like my colors, right? It's like... It is your colors, yeah. It's my colors. Um, and yeah, Flamingo Toes said, it's going to be such a fun sew along. Um, and then about the stitch along, so you said, ooh, yes, I want to do a stitch along. Yeah, so email me and then um, I can like coordinate it um, and sew it too, stitch it too. It's so cute. It has a lot of back stitch. I hate back stitch. Back stitch is the death of me. But I probably just leave the back stitch off. <laughs> Which is like on all my cross stitch, I'm like totally, I'm like, you know what? I'm not doing back stitch. I'm not doing French knots. I don't care. It's a face. You can tell it's a face. It doesn't need eyes. It's fine. I'm kind of like, whatever <laughs> at this point in my life. That's great. All right. We have a few questions. Um, Margaret Haglund says, are, the y seam, are there Y seams on the stars quilt? I don't think so. Uh, Bev can answer in there, but no, it's a template. So I don't think so, but Bev can answer you. Yes, let's see. And you know, I'll tell a funny story. It's so embarrassing. So I was at um, Festival of Quilts and Bev came up and talked to me and I didn't know. I don't know. Maybe I'd met her. Maybe I, I don't think I had met her. And she was talking to me. I thought she was like a customer. And so I was like, just talking to her. And then Lori was like, later Lori was like, you know who that is, right? And I was like, no. I was like, I think she's a customer. And she was like, no. She's a design, like Lori totally knew that I didn't know what was going on. And so I felt so rude and so bad that I didn't know it was her. Um, that's so embarrassing. I wasn't gonna tell that story, but I, I think she knew. I mean, it was kind of obvious, but oh my gosh, so embarrassing. Oh. Yeah, all the stuff is super cute. Um, and House of Stitch and Stash said, wait, did Kimberly cut her hair? Oh, you know who cut my hair? Emma. So um, about two weeks ago, we're all going stir crazy, right? Like we have nothing to do. There's only <laughs> so many times you can walk in the neighborhood. And it was raining that weekend. And I was, I was, I was, do oh, I was finishing Bonnie and Camille's quilt. And so, Emma went to her bedroom. I don't know, she used some nasty like scissors that I don't even know, they're like paper scissors. <laughs> she cut her hair and she came downstairs and I was like, oh, and it's really cute. Like it's straight, I don't know how she did it. Straight, she did it all by herself. She's like, gonna cut your hair? And I was like, sure, so she cut my hair. Because I don't like, I don't like to have really long hair. It's not even, and I don't even care. Like I've got hairs, so I'm like, I don't care, whatever. It's a little bit longer. And then we went in Kevin's office after and he was like, what did y'all do? You know it's permanent. I'm like, it's not permanent, it's just hair. It's gonna grow. Yeah, he didn't care. He was like, I cannot believe you let her do that. I was like, oh, whatever. That's great. We so got nowhere to go. I mean, who's gonna see it? And then I came to work and I was like, oh, but I do have videos to film. <laughs> but oh well. 
Yeah, so if you see haircuts in some videos that this was this time. Yeah, and then like, she's like, your hair, it's like brown. She's like, your hair's not blonde. I'm like, no, Emma, it's not. <laughs> I was going to dye it, and then I was like, you know, I probably shouldn't. I think it looks great. Uh, you gave me the courage to cut hair at home, but uh, Cruz shaved a little part of my hair right here. I don't know if you can see it. Oh my it, god! It came out kind of weird. I like it though. He did it? <laughs> he, yeah, he just oh. went... Nyeh. Oh no. <laughs> oh my god, I can't really see it. Yeah, it's it blends in nicely. That's is the so good funny. Part. <laughs> oh yeah, if you look closely, there's like weird holes in it. Uh, but yes. Yeah, cutting hair no. at home. Yeah, and then I was watching, um, you know, all those like concerts, and then Billie Eilish. You know, she has like blue hair and black hair. I was like, that's gonna be me soon. Like, <laughs> black and gray and white. That's gonna be me soon. That's amazing. All right, we got lots of questions. Um, let's see. Angela Stoudinger was asking if you can show the singing in the Rain Fat Quarter bundle. Uh huh. It's right here. It's so pretty. Maybe I'll take it home. <laughs> It's, uh, I'll just kind of fan it. Yeah, it's totally my colors. So happy. And then there's other pre-cuts like um, two and a half inch strips and charm packs and yardage and all that. Lots of people say your hair looks great. Oh, thanks. <laughs> it's, uh. All right, and then uh, we do have another new YouTube member, Cassie. Welcome, Cassie. Thank you. And then we also got a super chat earlier. Let me see from who it was. All right, our super chat was from Anna D. Davis for 19.99. Thank you so much, Anna. Oh, we really appreciate you. it. And she put okay, so it's like a samurai fox waving a number one sign around. Aww. It's a little sticker. Thank um, you. And then we got another super chat from Peach for $10. Oh, Peach. Thank, thank you, you so much, Peach. I just got an email from you. Aww. I got it when I was walking up the stairs. Why was I on my phone walking up the stairs? I don't know. <laughs> That's great. Uh, Tattooed Quilter was asking, where's Piggy? So Piggy is at, uh, today he had to go, um, he doesn't go anymore to the daycare because he doesn't need to. But um, the vet, he has, I don't even want to explain what he has to have done once a week because it's disgusting, but he has to do it or he'll get, like he had to have a surgery because he didn't have it done. So he has to go today to do that. Um, but yeah, he's been really not very good. I don't know what his deal is, but he's all about like barking all of a sudden and uh, like he got out. Oh my gosh. So he got out like when the quarantine first started because somebody rang my doorbell and I was like, I'm not going to answer it. And then I, he was like, your dog, your dog, your dog got out. Well, Sunday, the kids were riding their bikes and on the side gate, Will left it open. And so Kevin kept saying, Kim, come here. And I was like, oh, whatever. I mean, you know how it is. Like you're married. You're like, whatever, I don't, I don't, whatever. And he's like, Kim, your dog. And I'm like, get him. He's like, no, it's your dog. So I go outside and I had to like scream at the kids, like find him in the cul-de-sac, help me find Piggy. He's just chilling in the neighbor's yard, like in the front yard, hiding behind a rock on purpose, knowing that we were trying to find him. But yes, he's, Aww. but he's very like, I think he's just um, annoyed with us. Like, I think he's like done with us. Like that, that's what I think it is. Like, he's like, get out of here. I want to sleep. Y'all are interrupting my sleep. It's chaos. That's amazing. He's like, can I get my space? Yeah, that's what I honestly like. I don't, I think he's just done with us. Piggy needs his personal space. Yes. Um, let's see. Kathy Birch was asking, are you doing Gudrun? Are you doing Gudrun so long on May 3rd? I don't know. I saw like a thing about it, but I haven't, I need to email her and find out. But yeah, I don't know. All right. And Rachel Provencher was asking, just wondering when Kimberly will be discussing the 2020 designer block of the month due in June. Okay, so we have a 2020 designer mystery it starts. It's every year. It's like our 15th or 13th or something year. It's, um, we do, and you can get just the blocks or you can get the blocks and the finishing kit or the blocks, the finishing kit and the backing. It starts in June. Um, I made that quilt like a year ago. It's super fun. Um, it's kind of a low priced way to get a block of the month if you just want the blocks. Um, and so it's starting, um, maybe next week I could bring the quilt. I don't know where it is. Um, 
It's like all my other quilts. It's like I make them and then they're like, wherever. I'm sure we can find it. It's kind of like the story of my life. Oh. Whatever. Okay. Uh, we have a few more questions, but I know we have other things to get okay. to so we can. So I'm going to show you a sneak peek of Bloomtopia. Um, this is the Martha Washington block. These are going to release next week on May 1st. And so I was just going to show them to you this week so you can know what to look forward to. Oh, this I is... think these are from the previous week. Oh, sorry. Just so you know. Um, so, yeah. This is Magnolia. And, but, yeah, so these are the previous, but next week we're releasing new blocks. And these are the ones from the kit. We still have some kits left over, so we would love for you to get those kits. And we have raised $43,000 for Make-A-Wish. And I'm super, super, super excited about that. Uh, I did tell Kevin he was going to have to get on the live stream because he promised, and he is, like, freaking out. Like, he's like, I just don't know. Can you zoom out of my face? Yeah, sorry. Um, he's like, I just, I don't know what I'm going to say. And I'm like, just, I don't know. So he's going to have to. But so that's yeah. coming next week. You if you haven't hello. donated to Make-A-Wish, we would love for you to still donate. Um, Charming Baby is a new book by Melissa Corey. And we're on week three of this sew along. And so I'm going to show you the quilt that I made. It's ginormous. I'm just going to do it in fourths. That sounds good. So this is the basically um, what you can sew along each week is free, but you have to have the book. And all the fabric requirements, everything is on the blog. I used the at-home collection, and I used um, Bonnie's colorway. And I did pull some greens. Somebody caught me. I did pull some greens from Camille's colorway to add in. And so... This has been really fun. So I would love for you to sew along. Gina Tell quilted this one for me. And let me see where I put my label. Oh, I put it right here. So we actually have a block from the book as the backing, just to show you um, just a way to do a piece backing. And y'all are always asking me how I do it. So we wrote it in and then I put a, a Sweetwater label here. Um, I purchase these each week. I mean, each month, I'm in their club. So that's kind of um, some of the things I've been working on. Um, I wanted to talk real quick about shipping delays. So with everything going on, we are um, about 10 to 14 days behind. Um, we are behind on emails. We are, we are just behind and it is horrible. I hate it. It, it makes me not being able to sleep at night, but you know, we have to do different things. We have to do the order slower, everything. So if you have not received your order, we are just behind. I'm so sorry. If you email, you're not gonna get an email the same day like normal because we are behind. Um, so I did wanna address it. Um, it's not the best solution, but it is the solution that we are at right now. So I did wanna talk about that. Yeah. And you know, thank you for all your orders. I mean, it's been amazing. Um, mostly what we're selling is white solid black solid elastic and bias tape makers bias tape makers are now completely um i did load a new one yesterday but um as of when those sell out there are no bias tape makers in any capacity anywhere i have searched everywhere there is going to be some new elastic coming it is kind of like a combination of it's basically where you it's like a I don't know, it's it's vinyl elastic and it's coming from by Annie. It's a brand new product. I found out about it about nine o'clock last night. It's gonna come in rolls of 100 yards. So that is coming and that is super exciting because we have been out of elastic, unable to find elastic. Um, thank you to everyone making masks. Um, we've donated to locally to lots of places. Um, they'll, I just reached out to some people that were in the newspaper making masks and said, hey, I have some fabric and they came and I just left it out front and her husband took it. Um, so we're, um, we're thankful for everyone making masks and everybody on the front line. I mean, oh my goodness, it's just amazing. Yeah, super thankful for everyone. Um, also everyone in the chat's being super great, super kind and understanding. Uh, so thank you guys so much for, um, you know, being kind and understanding the situation. Uh, great comment from Teresa. She said, my husband 3D printed. Um, oh, what are those things? The bias tape maker. What? 
What? I know. That is amazing. That is insane. That's so cool. Your yes. husband is so cool, Teresa. Yes. I've been looking everywhere. Um, it's crazy. Oh, man. I wish I could 3D print things. That would solve so many problems. Uh, okay. We have a lot of questions to okay. get to. Uh, first of all, Flamingo Toe said, haha, it's all good. Don't feel bad about when you met her. I know, but it was obvious, right? Like, she totally knew. Aww. But then, I mean, Lori was like, Kim, she's like, do you even know what's going on? I'm like, no, of course not. But that's how I am in general. Like, I'm pretty much like, whatever. Like, sometimes I'm just standing bad. Aww. It's okay. Uh, Holly O'Brien says, my birthday is coming up. What shortcut quilt do you recommend oh, or kit? Oh, my gosh. So, Jelly Roll Jams are number one video by far it will never be topped um layer cake lemonade is my favorite though because it's quick and easy and uses big pieces yes all right um liz emmerich says what size needles do you use for piecing for piecing so when i piece um when i'm quilting and piecing i use 80 schmitz the brand i use is schmitz schmitz i use 80 and then if i am like if if I'm doing applique or something, I'll usually do like a 90 because it's a skinnier needle. Um, and Lisa Schweitzer says, in the market for a new machine, any recommendations? So we can put an affiliate link to the one that I use. I use a Juki 2010Q. I bought one locally and I bought one on Amazon. So they do sell it on Amazon. Um, that is what I sew on. I also have a baby lock. Um, the reason I sew on the Juki is it is faster, and the the Juki that I have and the Baby Lock have the same stitches per minute, but I can tell you the Juki is faster, um, and I'm all about speed and fastness. Right. A few people are saying in the chat they love Layer Cake Lemonade. Yeah, it's fun. It's easy, right? Like, I'm all about, like, hurry up, hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Jillian Bellin also had a funny comment. She said, Piggy's a teenager now. Yeah, I don't know. Like, he, even Emma was like, what is wrong with him? Uh, Denise Marie was asking, will we be talking about the Sew Sampler quilt for this year? So we don't talk about that too much, um, but Sew Sampler quilt this year is going to be, um, it's like we kind of themed it off of like discs like the 80s kind of theme um but it is it's just a fun um piece kind of sampler-ish block um there are kits available and the patterns will start in the april box which um we're now in april aren't we so it went out in this box and it's super fun um i didn't get to make this one which i was super disappointed because i was doing other stuff but I do really like the pattern. Right. Um, Brian Mitchell was asking, what Lori Holt pattern would be beginner friendly for a beginner quilter? Um, I would say maybe her gingham quilt and Farm Girl Vintage 2 would be super easy. Mm -hmm. And so the way that Lori's stuff work is her books are all pieced. Her free sew alongs online are a combination of quilting, sorry, piecing and quilt, piecing and applique. And then she does some free quilt patterns for Riley Blake that are sew alongs that are strictly applique. So she does like a combo. All right. Uh, Char Ferrero was asking, what background is that about Charming Baby? It is. It is not at home. I used a previous collection from Bonnie Camille. And I have that somewhere. Someone who works for me will have to ask Denise to try to find that skew. I wrote it down somewhere, um, but it is not at home. All right, we will look up that skew. Yeah, sorry. It was something that I had enough, because I made that before at home arrived. So I had to use what I had and it's something, I think I had it at home. All right, uh, Diane Sandberg says, any idea when Thread might be available for the Feels Like Home Sew Along? Oh my goodness. Stitch Along, sorry. We don't know. Um, so Feels Like Home is our cross stitch along. Um, so DMC has delays. Their DMC is made in France. Nobody has DMC. 
no distributor, no nothing, no nobody, no nothing. Um, and so also we did a classic color works thread pack and that is dyed on top of DMC probably. And so it's just, we would love to have it. Um, there's just delays everywhere, anywhere, everywhere. Um, so we had it ordered. So um, we're hoping two weeks, but I mean, there's really honestly no way to give a definitive 100% correct answer. Um, it's not the answer I want to give. It's, it's not ideal, but it is what it is. Uh, Maxine Larson was asking if you could hold up the project bag from Flamingo Toes one more time. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. It is the cutest. Hang on, I'm going to zoom in. And then this is like a gold, rose gold. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm going to take it home today and put cross stitch in it. Ooh. I know. And hope Emma doesn't see it. So Gabriel sent me this, um, these cups. He always sends me cups because he works at Starbucks. <laughs> And Emma has like, that's all she drinks out of is this one cup. Um, so it's so funny. I saw she was doing her homework yesterday and I thought, you know, I should take a picture and like show him. But I was didn't have my phone with me and I was too lazy to go do it. <laughs> but she's just always chilling with her pink cup. So funny. That's great. Yeah, those Starbucks cups are like really great. Like they're reusable. Yeah, and they're good. I mean, they're easy to clean. Mm hmm. Anyways, we are not sponsored by Starbucks. <laughs> uh, I wish we were. Uh, let's see, we have two super chats. The first one is from Susie Clary for twenty four ninety nine. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Susie. She says, love you guys. Oh, we love you too. That's amazing. Thank you so much, Susie. We really appreciate it. Um, and then the next one is from Julie Bieber uh, for nine ninety nine, And she says, thanks for all you do. Oh, thank, thank you, Julie. You. Yes. And anyone wondering who hasn't seen Piggy before, this is a cartoon version of Piggy. That's my little doggy. He's a little <laughs> poo-poo head. All right. he's, yeah, he's a mess. Oh. I think it's because he doesn't go to daycare and I make the kids like, so basically the way that I've done quarantine um, is now on the weekend, we do not do this because I would go out of my mind. But five days a week, what we do is there's a schedule. And so every 30 minutes or hour or whatever they have different things they have to do so there's like outside time inside time art time homework time blah 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 i mean like my little school like the kimberly school whatever um and so part of it is part of the outside time is um walking piggy and i think he might be mad at us because we walk him like three times a day and it's not hot or anything but um he's just annoyed with us i think he's just annoyed that we're home all the time <laughs> that's adorable uh, I mean, I'm sorry the piggy's annoyed, but that's very right. cute that he is. Um, all right. A few people have been asking if I could just, like, uh, do show the quilts one more time that are hanging in the background. Sure. So I'm going to do that. Sure. So I'll tell a little story. Um, so in the mix of all of these things, um, I think I might have totaled my car. So I was going home Friday and a car just started right in front of me. And so the airbag went off. I'm totally fine. Um, so I'm waiting to hear if my car is totaled because mm. I kind of need to know. It's not great. So it's just, I don't know. It's just like, oh my gosh, what else could go? <laughs> um, I'm so happy that my car is big and it is a tank and it did not, um, I did not get hurt, um, but I have never had an airbag go off. So when it went off, I was totally out of it. I was like, oh my God, what's going on? I didn't know what was going on. My glasses fell off, my phone, I wasn't on the phone, but it flew because it's like sitting in the center. I had two Starbucks drinks, of course, so they went everywhere, everywhere, all over me, which I mean, that's fine. Um, so I, I couldn't figure out how to call 911 and I couldn't figure out how to call Kevin because everything was on the Bluetooth. I was totally out of it. Um, so my body has been hurting. I have two huge bruises right here from where the seat belt, but yes, I'm so happy that I have, and it's actually, you know, I got a car about, I don't know, a while ago. It's like my first time I ever got like a really nice car and I'm like, okay, great. I totaled it. Um, thankfully I leased it. Um, so I'm hoping they call me soon so I can like replace it. Cause, um, I guess it's a good time for it to happen because I really don't need to be anywhere, but, um, I don't know. It's just, I don't know, it's just been one of those things. So, but I'm super thankful that I'm fine. Um, the other person wasn't, it was totally his fault. Um, the one thing is though, um, because of everything going on, they won't release uh, traffic incident reports for six weeks. So it's all in limbo. 
So I'm like, okay, there's no way that for six weeks I'm not going to have a car. That's not possible. Mm -hmm. So um, everything is just a mess. Oh, man. That's so scary. Yeah. So everyone at work all week has been like, she's here, but her car's not here. And I'm like, oh, well. (laughs) Well, we are all so glad you're okay. Thank you. I'm, yes. Very thankful you're good. Okay. We do have a few more questions here. Um, Cheryl Howard said, just tune in. Very thankful to see you, Kimberly Jolly. So thankful to everyone who kept working and shipping for a quarter shop. You've been the highlight of many days during this time. Thank you, Cheryl. thank you. That's very sweet. Um, And I've been filling some orders, so your order might have been cut by me. (laughs) That's true. Um, So some people that I work with have texted me and been like, Kimberly is working in the warehouse right now, and Kevin's working in the warehouse right now. And I'm like, what? Like, yes. that's crazy. That's, yes. I mean. I haven't this week because my body has hurt too much. Um, but, uh, and I haven't quilted this week. Um, I'm working on that free quilt. And I was like, you know, I just can't. Like, my upper body. I mean, it just, like, I don't know if you've ever had an airbag hit you. But, oh, my gosh. It's just, like, boom. Um, so, but I feel pretty okay. But I have a quilt to do. And it's going to get done this weekend. But it's going to be our new free uh free uh so along for next fall Mm. all right and cherry gingham was asking will there be a trunk show for the new jolly bar book no and the reason why is we only sew the quilt on the front yeah but we are gonna have we're doing a jolly bar sew along i sewed the quilt and we will have that and we can bring the cover quilt to a, a live stream next week we can bring the cover quilt lily we just remember to bring the cover quilt and the sew along quilt so, all right. Uh, Danins two thousand says, "Does the goodness grows kit include patterns?" I don't think so. No. Yeah, I don't. Think I so. think it has the finishing pattern only. And if you click on the product and then scroll down at the bottom, it'll be very. Cl- it should be very clear. All right. And Marsha Walsh was asking about the project bag for Feels Like Home and when it will be available. Project bag, two weeks. Um, That is because of the same thing, uh, shipping delays and um, just delivery delays, but um, should be soon. And we're almost sold out of the needle minder and we will have more, but it will be quite a while. Just everything is behind. Mm -hmm. Oh, a few people are asking if in the future we can show the sew sampler quilt from 2019. Sure. The uh, goodness. Can you just remind me? Because I'm not going to remember that. I will make a note. (laughs) Yeah. And um, I don't know if I made that one or not, but uh, I know we have it somewhere. Yes. Yeah. It's not in the room right now. We'll put it next week. Lily will put all this on. She'll make notes of what to do for next week. Yes. (laughs) Because I'm not going to remember. All right. Uh, I'm not seeing any more questions right now. Just lots of love for us being live and everything we're doing. Uh, lots of people loving their so sampler boxes, which are coming Yay, in. Yay, yes, I've seen that. Um, yeah, so next week, just to kind of give you a heads up, Doug Lico is sending me, he has a brand new Table Runner book. And so I think that's what we're going to be doing next week is a trunk show of his new book and showing all of the quilts that are in his book. So that's what we have scheduled for next week. Ooh. We're also going to show the uh, the new Jolly Bar Sew Along. So that will be uh, next week. And um, that doesn't start for another month. It was going to start sooner, but because of our shipping delays and everything, we pushed it back so that everybody would have time to get fabric. So guys, have a great weekend and I'll see you next week. Bye everyone.